Hello again. In today's video, I'm going to take another look at this import um, true adjust style chuck. Uh, one final look at it. I'm going to take a closer look at the accuracy of the axis of the chuck um, and make sure that that is completely true. And I'm going to check the inside features. I'm also going to then check the outside features. Uh, just one final thorough look and see if I can expose any shortcomings. Um, before I get into that, quick reminder that the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up in about 15 years, and uh, so you want to be ready for that. But uh, by way of a bribe, just a reminder, I do have this rather nice Fowler 0 to 1 inch micrometer. Um, that's 0 to 25.4 millimeters to some of you. Um, digital micrometer, all fully working and tested. It is used, but it's a 50 millionths micrometer. So very nice resolution. And when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I will put this up for grabs. So to the subscriber who um, unsubscribed yesterday, ha, huh, laughs on you, buddy. But here's something to be aware of. I took the jaws off and before I did it, I checked that they were marked and I put them back on and the chuck was like way out. It was like 50 thou off and I thought that's weird and adjusted it in and the whole body was just off center. And uh, it turns out that the jaws had been marked incorrectly. So two things there, number one, the jaws were marked incorrectly. That's not great. Number two, the jaws are certainly uh, not accurate or at least not consistent to each other. Now, I don't know if on a bison chuck you could move the top jaws around and expect to get any, any um, repeatability. But certainly you can't on this one and so i had to do a little bit of trial and error and figure out which jaw went where um and then remark them and now everything's good so i know now which jaw needs to go where so just a couple of things to be aware of if you want to go for one of these very inexpensive import chucks another aspect uh, to this chuck is with these two-part jaws you can see in order to go from inside to outside jaws you you simply take the jaw off and turn it around and as was pointed out to me that's actually slower to do than to take the jaws out completely and turn them around uh, or put in a set of external jaws but that's that doesn't concern me um what what you do need to know about this particular brand of chuck is that um, if you move these, if you turn these around from inside to outside or vice versa, uh, you will have to dial in the chuck again. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. It's not a big deal. It's very easy to adjust center on the chuck. Um, but just know that on this brand of true adjust chuck, uh, the accuracy of the chuck is not enough that you can swap, turn the jaws inside to outside and expect to maintain an accurate center position. Um, maybe you can't on even the very expensive chucks. Um, it wasn't very far out when I tried it and maybe I should demonstrate that. Uh, it was like a couple of thou, which is honestly, that's not bad, but um, where we're running a part very true to the center is important so you can match features uh, you need to know about that so i think what i might do now is put a gauge pin in and demonstrate that so that honestly looks pretty good this uh have a closer look Happy about that. 
However, as you know, you have to either clock the OD and a perpendicular face or two places on the OD to know whether the part is truly is running true. Now, I don't know if the face of these pins is perpendicular to the OD, so I'm not going to trust that. Um, so I'm just going to go to another spot. That's encouraging. Needle didn't really move. However, look at that. So this part is not running true. And off camera, I've been messing with it, so I knew this is what was going to happen. But basically, as um, far as I can tell, the OD, certainly on that part of the jaw, um, the OD setup is not true. Uh, what I'm now going to do, though, is swap the jaws around and check that same thing on the on the ID surface, on these surfaces. So I've turned the jaws round, put the gauge pin back in. And that's running, what's that, three? Yeah. Three thousand, that's without any recentering, so I guess that's not too bad. Um, Let's mark the uh, zero point there. Okay, mark the zero point there. And, uh, well, that's encouraging. That didn't move. So that's good news. It's running out exactly the same way. When I come round to the zero point here, it's at the same zero point and it's running out the same amount. So that suggests that the axis is true. So now if I uh, true up, zoom out a bit more. If I adjust the chuck now using these screws, I should be able to get it um to within that half thou so i'll leave the camera rolling while i do that There we go. That's why I wanted a true adjust style chuck. Now that's encouraging. There we go. Yeah, so that's so that is truly that gauge pin now is the axis of that is true to the axis of the lathe, um, and that's why I wanted. And that's that's ac You've got to admit that's pretty accurate. So I'm very I'm still very happy with this chuck. It does what I want it to do, which is allows me to use soft jaws. Zoom out, it allows me to use soft jaws, very specifically aluminium soft jaws, hence the two part jaw, as well as steel soft jaws. Um, it allows me to get a chuck set up to run very true. Um, and that's really it, that's what I wanted. So, in that regard, I'm very happy. Now, this surface on the outside is not properly ground. So that I will have to address sometime. I still have to address, measure these 
and see whether these grips will actually allow me to run properly true. So I hope these reviews of this chuck have been somewhat useful. If nothing else, they give you some pointers as to what to expect from this particular brand. Um, give you an idea maybe of what to consider if you're looking to buy your own chuck. In summary, based on what I've shown you and what I've learned so far, um, I can say that the internal hard jaw features are very accurate uh, and running true to the center line of the chuck, which is then able to run very true to the center line of the lathe. So that's a big plus. Uh, there was no grit. Uh, it was very clean as received, which is somewhat unusual by all accounts for import chucks. Uh, and it's very inexpensive. I will put up the price that I paid for this chuck uh, on the video. Cons, uh, fit and finish are not great. Chuck jaws, uh, at least one of them, is very loose. Um, so that's not, that's not great. But despite that, its accuracy is actually pretty good on the internal surfaces. Um, another con though, the outside jaws are inaccurate compared to the ID and I was unable to get those, uh, certainly this feature here, to run properly true relative to the axis of the lathe. Um, however, big reason I bought this was the ability to run aluminum soft jaws such as these. These are soft jaws that I purchased actually uh, from a company called monsterjaws.com. They're very inexpensive and reasonably priced um, and there's no way I can make jaws of this quality for the price that I paid for these. So the whole point of this chuck is to be able to mount soft jaws to machine to make custom mounts um, and then having the truing ability on the chuck allows me to reuse those and recenter them accurately. So in that regard, overall, I think this chuck was a good purchase. Um, it is an import, so it's not going to be as strong and as tough and as accurate as um, other brands such as Bison or Buck Chuck. Um, and another con is that these uh, removable hard jaws are not accurate enough that they can be moved around on the master jaws. Uh, and, and it's probably unwise to ever expect that anyway. So that's it. That's my review of this chuck. Um, there might be a follow-up sometime down the road after I've made a lot of parts with it, but for now I'm calling it good. Uh, I understand the chuck, I understand what its accuracy is, where its limitations are, and now it's time to actually make some parts with it. So thanks very much for watching. Hope this was informative. Um, get out to your own shop, spend some quality time in there, make something that you enjoy, and uh, hope to see you again soon for the upcoming conclusion to the PM Research number four steam engine, which is um, slowly but steadily stumbling its way towards completion and I'm looking forward to that. Bye for now.